Welcome back to GTA Insights. Possible spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. GTA 6 leak posted new leaks about the upcoming Grand Theft Auto on their Reddit account. He said, Most of Rose's police story missions are triggered from her office. Rose can take patrol calls from her car, calls that don't necessarily relate to Vice. These dispatch calls are entirely optional. Steve's weapon of choice is a pump-action shotgun which he calls his dumpy. Los Santos is said to have turned into a war zone, a reference to GTAO characters, in my opinion. Rockstar has big plans for an optional subscription service for GTA VIs online. Rose doesn't know which of the characters killed Arthur and never asks. Mission spoiler, after the player helps help Steve with some repo jobs, he and Phil accompany the trio to South America to run guns to the US for El Tercer Ojo. Rose sits in the back of a helicopter with Phil and a pilot while Steve, Ricardo, and Casey load a crate of guns. Steve tests out a V2 SMG, commenting that it shoots faster than Ramadan. A combined army of Los Perros Locos and military soldiers start shooting snipers. The pilot takes off, leaving Steve, Casey and Ricardo who get into an SUV, heading for the shore. The military and cartel members chase the car, driven by Steve, while Casey and Ricardo start shooting from either side. Rose and Phil, who comments he's never shot a gun before, cover them from the sky against helicopters and SUVs. At the shore, Steve, Casey and Ricardo get into the helicopter and they fly to the Glazers. During the mission, you're free to switch between the three characters. Grand Theft Auto 6 has been designed with full local and online cooperative support in mind, allowing missions to be individually replayed with multiple players. When replaying missions individually, the mission is timed, allowing you to compare your mission times on private and global leaderboards on your platform. Leaderboards are separate for solo and cooperative play. I'm unsure if they're further separated by targeting mode. Playable characters will dress differently when wealthy versus poor. When poor, Ricardo will wear cargo pants and t-shirts. When wealthy, Ricardo will wear a shirt with slacks or a Hawaiian shirt with shorts. When poor, Casey will wear a leather jacket with jeans or a t-shirt with sweatpants. When wealthy, Casey will wear a two-piece suit or casual designer clothes. When poor, Rose will wear skinny jeans with a collared blouse or a fitted tank top with denim shorts. When wealthy, Rose will wear a blouse with a pencil skirt slash slacks or a contouring dress. Rose will always choose to wear aviator sunglasses unless removed by the player when wearing uniform or regular attire. When dressing up for a date or event, she will not choose to wear them. Excluding her uniform, Rose will wear heels with almost every outfit. Casey likes sneakers, usually preferring white heiress lows. When poor Ricardo will opt for combat boots, Casey prefers simple black and white clothes. Ricardo prefers colorful clothes. Rose prefers white and beige clothes. Casey is 6 feet 3 inches, 191 centimeters. Ricardo is 5 feet 11 inches, 180 centimeters. Rose is 5 feet 10 inches, 178 centimeters. Rose wears a 32C. In an early interaction, Rose mocks Ash for wearing the same padded bra since 10th grade. Rose suggests, jokes, her parents were cruel for giving Ashira a hipster name. Rose's station is a fairly tall multi-floor building. The first slash ground floor is the reception with an elevator you can use. You can also just take the stairs. The next floor is the patrol department. The floor above that is the traffic department. Above that is the vice department. Above that is the homicide department. Above that are offices, captain, therapist, etc. The basement floor houses the armory and leads to the underground garage. You can access other departments' floors and interact with the staff. When talking to the lieutenants of other departments, Rose can offer her help. Offering your help to the homicide lieutenant allows you to hunt down and catch the serial killer. Rose's missions will have her work with the FIB, FBI, IAA, CIA, FAT, ATF, and DOA, DEA. The FIB and IAA have a strong rivalry and will comment negatively on each other. The VCPD also dislike the FIB for their unwanted involvement in police cases. One of Rose's officers, Smithy, is goofy, lazy and unintelligent, but sometimes comes in useful due to his street smarts. When Rose shows her surprise in those moments he responds jokingly with phrases along the lines of come on, you act like I'm FIB, suggesting the VCPD see the FIB as useless idiots. In previous posts I've said you can go to prison, but apparently you can only go to one of the large jail complexes. If you don't break out, Rose will eventually have you released. They're in an interaction menu, unsure if this is the name given to it in 6, but it's what I'll use to avoid confusion. 
the interaction menu is a lot more compact, with the more relevant commands being reachable very quickly. On PC, you can keybind interaction menu commands. When Rose is wearing heels, she can quickly flick them off through the interaction menu, granting you better mobility in chases or shootouts. If Rose's heels are picked up again, they will be lost and she'll need to rebuy them. Animations are different depending on footwear. For example, Rose moves differently in heels and characters move differently, showing signs of discomfort when not wearing shoes. Rose can change her nail size and shape at salons. Rose can have her fingernails and toenails painted at salons. When removing glasses, your characters physically remove them and place them in a pocket. When using your phone, your character physically removes it from their pockets and places it back there when finished. If Rose is wearing a dress, skirt, or other pocketless outfit, she will remove items from, or place them into, her purse or bra. Rose can wear padded, push-up, bullet and sports bras to alter the appearance of her breasts. Some cars have cruise control that can be turned on, off, and changed from the interaction menu. Cruise control does not automatically adjust to the speed limit of the road you're on, so you'll need to adjust it manually. Since there's been some confusion in my previous descriptions, Rose's default hair is chestnut with bronze ends and goes down to her hips. That's the best descriptor I can give from what I've seen, unfortunately. Ricardo's hair is brown but graying. Makeup options for Rose include foundation, mascara, concealer, blush, lipstick, highlighter, eyeliner, pencil, eyeshadow, and false lashes. She does not need to, and cannot, use primer. Makeup is done manually from Rose's bathroom, not bedroom, is infinite and appears automatically in all of Rose's residential properties. There are different types, matte, gloss, etc., and colors of each makeup type. For preset makeup looks Rose must visit a salon. Mission spoiler, in one mission, the trio including Rose who can't swim and has thalassophobia and Camila, an anti-cartel freedom fighter, scuba dive to a yacht, kill the bosses on board and sink it. When swimming back, Rose, who tails far behind the other three, runs out of oxygen. Ricardo saves her after she falls unconscious. When playing the mission as Rose, your movement becomes awkward and unpredictable. You slowly lose consciousness and become stuck in first person. You regain consciousness on the shore. When playing as Casey, you swim back with Camila, unaware of Rose. As Ricardo, you notice and pull her back to shore. Wearing excessive makeup to work as Rose will have her reprimanded by the captain. Not wearing uniform to work as Rose will have her reprimanded and make police missions and activities unavailable. After her promotion to captain, Rose will wear a skirt suit to work, but police activities will be available in any smart attire or her uniform. After her promotion to captain, the rank insignia on her uniform will change. Ramon has a teardrop tattoo on his face. Riding a motorcycle in Cottonmouth will have the angels of death confront or attack the character. What do you guys think? Is this real or just another fake leak? Leave your comment below and don't forget to subscribe for more GTA 6 news.